Hi, this is Joe from ExcelFormulas.com, and today we are going to discuss the absolute and relative cell references. But let's start with the basics. What is a cell reference? Well, a cell reference is how we refer to a cell in a formula. For example, let's write the weekly salary formula. For now, we can assume that all the employees earn $30 per hour. It's a pretty simple formula. All we need to do is multiply the hours worked by 30. In our formula, we referred to cell C6. So a cell reference is actually the cell's name when we refer to it in a formula. Now let's use the fill handle to copy the formula to the second row in the table. As you can see, Excel changed the cell reference. And because we copied the formula one row down, it adjusted the cell reference in the same way. It added one to the row number. This is because the cell reference we used is a relative cell reference. This is actually very useful because we often want Excel to adjust the cell reference when we copy the formula. It enables us to quickly apply a formula to an entire column. But sometimes we want the cell reference to remain locked when we copy the formula. Let's say we wanted the formula to multiply the hours worked by each employee with the hourly rate figure found in cell C3. Again, it's a simple formula. We multiply cell C6 with cell C3. But watch what happens when we use the fill handle to copy the formula. We get errors and wrong results. This is because Excel adjusted both the cell reference to C6, which is a good thing, and the cell reference to C3, which is not so good. So in row 7, instead of referring to cell C3, the formula now refers to cell C4. and in row 8 it refers to cell C5, and so on. We can fix this problem by telling Excel that we don't want to change the reference to cell C3 when we copy the formula. This is done by adding a dollar sign before the column name and the row number, like so. This is called an absolute cell reference. Now we can use the fill handle to copy the formula and the reference to cell C3 will remain locked. A neat way to turn a cell reference into an absolute cell reference is to select it while editing the formula and pressing the F4 key, like so. To return the cell reference back into a relative reference, press F4 three more times. You probably noticed that pressing the F4 key while in the absolute reference state changed the reference so that it showed only one dollar sign. The dollar sign appeared before the row number and after we pressed F4 again, it appeared before the column letter. I call this semi-absolute cell reference. And we will discuss it in a future lesson, but for now, let's see if you can figure it out. What do you think is the purpose of the semi-absolute cell reference? Using absolute and relative cell references is crucial for creating effective Excel workbooks, and now you have learned how to use this technique. Well done! Thank you for your time and attention. 
For more free Excel training, just enter your first name and email at the top right of this page. You'll get everything you need to know about Excel formulas all in one place. All you need to do is enter your first name and email at the top right of this page. If you are not watching this video on the Excel Formulas site, then go to www.freeexcelvideos.com and follow the instructions. That's www.freeexcelvideos.com. Thank you.